Hi, we will discuss the coupon collector's problem. Okay, in this problem, you are there are n coupons. Okay, and uh, you gonna you only get these coupons by by buying this uh, these boxes of candies. Okay, each box uh, gives you a randomly chosen coupon, and you wanna collect all the coupons. Okay, so the question is, how many boxes of candies you have to buy? So let's look at one example. Suppose there are five coupons, and you buy the first box of candies, and it gives you coupon number one. Right? So you're done, right? So you have one of coupon number one, and then you keep buying, right? You buy another box, and you get, uh, say, coupon number three. So you say, hey, uh, get, I'm getting coupon number three. And the third time you buy another box, and maybe you get uh, one. Right. If you are unlucky, then you say, "Oh, okay, I get another one," and then uh, I already have one. Right. When you buy another one, you get four. Then you say, "Ah, okay, I get this coupon number four. I checked it. And then I I keep buying, right? And then um, I might get another coupon number three, and then uh, it doesn't give me any new coupons, right? And then I I buy something and I get number five. Okay, I say, "Oh, okay, this is number five. I'm happy." And the last one, uh, I need to. Usually, the last one is probably the hardest to get. Um, so you buying another coupon, you get one. Okay. You buy another coupon, you maybe you may get another four. You you feel like yeah, I should get two, but you you still don't. And finally, in the end, you get two, and then you check this, and then you get two. And then yeah, I get all the coupons. Okay. And how many boxes of candies that I have bought? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine boxes. So this is the number of boxes of candies that I have to buy in this simple uh, illustrative example. Okay. All right. So you may ask, like, what's what's the how many boxes that you need? Um, all right. So let's look at the one extremely lucky case. Okay, is it possible that you only buy n boxes of candies and get all the n coupons? Okay, so this is a quick quick uh, quiz for you. Um, I will wait for a few uh, seconds so that you can think about this. And if you don't, if you need more time, you should uh, stop the video and and really think about it. It's 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 re really close to something that we have done before. All right. Um, so now, when we want to compute the probability again, we need to think about uh, the outcome, right? So, so how many, how many outcomes are there? So there are many ways to think about this. Uh, you can think about this as uh, in in uh, dependent events, or you can just think as uh, looking at try to count all the uh, good outcomes that you like. So let's think about the number of Possible outcome first number of outcome. So, uh, you you are buying in boxes, right? So what's random about this is that these box may contain a random these uh, random coupons. Okay. So the first box can uh, have you know many uh, in in possible coupons, right? And then the second box also have in choices. Okay. So if you uh, combine all of this, there are n step. These are n step processes, right? And each step you have n choice. So the number of cards is n times n times n, up to n times. So it's n to the n. Okay. Now let's think about the desirable, the number of desirable outcomes. Okay. So um, let's call this as an even e. Okay. So what's the the size of even e? Okay. Note that the first box you can get anything, right? So you have n choices for the first box, okay, of the coupons. And then the only way you can get all the coupons after buying exactly n boxes is that in the second box, what do you need to get? Right. 
you have to avoid the first coupon that you have already got. So uh, it's this many choice left. And on the third box, you have one less choice. And you have all this up to one. And this is in factorial. Okay. So the probability of the event E is just uh, in factorial over n to the n. And we know that this uh, goes to 0 as n goes to infinity, right? Um, because th this was uh, one of the exp uh, the exercises we did, uh, we, we've done, right? All right. So um, you have to be extremely lucky so that you only buy in boxes, okay? All right. Um, this uh, kind of thing is again related to the balls and bin experiment. You can definitely uh, phrase this uh, coupon collector as the balls and bin experiment. Okay, recall again that in this balls and bin experiment, you have n bins, and we throw n balls into these bins uh, independently at random. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you with this. Uh, uh, with this uh, description of balls and bins and uh, I'll let you think about how to uh, phrase uh, how to talk about the coupon collector under this uh, balls and bin experiment and I will give you the answer in the next segment okay all right so it is very unlikely that we only buy uh, in boxes okay so we want we want to find a number of cases. so there are many ways to, to analyze this uh, coupon collector problem. One way is to uh, think about, uh, you try to find the upper bound on a number of K that uh, if you buy K boxes of candies, it is very likely that we get all the coupons. Okay, so we, the experiment would look like, uh, like this, buy K boxes. And we want to prove that the probability that uh, of the event uh, get all uh, coupons is close to to one all right and if we gonna follow this approach uh, we have uh, this is pretty much if you recall this is pretty much like the case when we did with the fullest bin okay Therefore, I'm going to leave this to you. You can go back and try to understand the fullest bin analysis again and, and to use that approach to prove this, uh, to get some bounds on this. Okay. And, and we'll do that in the practice problem. All right. So let's end this segment where we introduce the problem of coupon collectors. Uh, the, um, so, uh, with these two questions. Okay. A little bit more than usual, but uh, I think. Um, so let the first question is to let you think about uh, the balls and bins experiment that we have seen many times. Can we use this uh, to express this coupon collector problem as the balls and bin experiment? Okay. And also, um, we have done the, f the fullest bin analysis, and um, um, this approach, this same kind of uh, analysis, can be used to show that. Can be used to give you the upper bound, oh sorry, upper bound, upper bounds on the number of boxes of candies that you have to buy to get all the end coupon uh, with high probability. And you're gonna do that in the practice. Alright. And in the next ex segment, I'm gonna show you how to analyze the expected number of boxes that you have to buy. I'm not really going to show you, but I'm going to give you some hints so that you can work out the, all the details by yourself. All right, see you in the next segment.